You're upsetting my wife. She's pregnant, you know. Oh, sure. Gotta be careful. I heard of a woman by Fisher up at County Line. She was pregnant. Eight months pregnant. It was hunting season. And her husband just couldn't stop talking about the big bucky bag. Yeah, he kept going over and over and over all the gory details. What happened? She had a baby boy, a beautiful baby boy, cute as a button, healthy as all get out, except had these two little bony growths coming out of his head. Kind of like the form antlers. <laughs> <laughs> Bye, folks. <laughs> Green brother. Start eating rabbit food. Maybe he's not. Maybe he's keeping a rabbit. These people weren't killed by a shotgun. It's the exact same in all these cases. Same as the truck driver, same as the kids. In each successive killing, the victim was pinned to the ground and torn open. While he was still alive? Quite possibly. In each case, the wounds have stayed essentially the same. Same areas generally torn, same parts eaten, same mode of attack. This suggests it's the same animal. But in each successive killing, the wounds have been deeper. The truck driver was killed with a small claw, maybe three inches. The kit seemed to have been torn by a larger one, maybe six or seven inches. But these bodies, well, they look like they've been torn by a scythe. What do you think? Either there's more than one, or else it's growing. Growing real fast. <laughs>
come in. Unit 1, have you found it? What's your status? Unit 1, report. Unit 1 just reported. He's got it. Wonderful. Send him down. It looks dead. If you've killed it... No, we, uh, we hit it with just the dose you said. All right. Bring it in. Surprise. away from the board you don't look like a killer no well, according to the sheriff I've already got a half dozen murders on my head so what's one more Oh, you got it too. Got what? The fever. Huh? What do you know about it? Everything. I designed it. So the body's down. I ain't seen nothing like this since Beirut. Mm. How's that hippie girl doing? Oh, Dr. Raven says she's doing fine. Just a little shock. She's also got a temperature. So is everybody else. I mean, his clinic is full. So, uh, he's treating her at the doc's trailer. Mm. Must be something bad going around. I have a touch of it myself. And the girls. Seems like we have a fever. Why didn't you tell me? Oh, honey, I, I figured you had enough to worry about. Now, listen. Listen to me. Now, you go in that bedroom and you rest with the girls. You hear me? Then we'll bring in your breakfast. <laughs> 